Welcome to the 17th part of Spring Boot Kubernetes tutorial series. In the previous video, we have completed our development of UI application using Next.js and thought of uh, dockerizing the UI application as well. But before that, it is important to understand how the communication happens between host and Docker containers and among the Docker containers itself. So in this video, we are going to learn how this communication happens. Let us understand how the current Docker Compose configuration works. So here we have in Docker Compose.ml file, we had defined the Postgres service and we specified what image we want to use and we have given a logical name of bookmarker-db and we have given uh, some environment variables to specify username and password and the database name and we have used this port mappings uh, which is like a host port colon container port, which means the Postgres database is running inside the container on port 5432 and we map that to our host 15432 port. So we should be able to connect from our host machine which is my laptop using 15432 port which is going to be forwarded into this containers 5432. Okay. And in our docker compose app.ml file, we have our uh, backend API defined where we specified uh, what is the context root and which docker file to use to create the uh, docker image. And then we specified a bunch of uh, environment variables pointing to the database. And again, in the similar way, we mapped the ports from hosts 18080 to containers 8080. Okay. And the interesting part is because the uh, both Postgres database and the API is running inside the containers, we need to point to the Postgres uh, host, right, uh, from our backend API. And here, if you notice, as part of this data source URL, we have specified JDBC, PostgreSQL, and usually we gave the host name here and the port number. And here, what we have given, bookmarker hyphen db colon 5432 so what does this refers to it is nothing but in our docker compose we have given this service name right that is going to act as a host name of this container and because both the bookmarker api and then uh, bookmarker db are running in the same network they are able to resolve the host name like bookmarker uh, hyphen db from the api and also we are not going to map it to the host port but instead we should be talking to the port which is running inside the container which is 5432 okay so let us uh, look at in a graphical way so that it will be easier to understand so when we run the containers using that docker compose uh, definition so here is the postgres database which we have given a logical name of bookmarker hyphen db which is running on port 5432 and we have our api service running which is again having a logical name of uh, bookmarker hyphen api colon 80880 and we have mapped this 8080 port to our host 18080 which means if i have if i want to access this api from my local laptop host machine i should be able to access it on local host 18080 this is the communication between host to docker container using port mapping but here communication between api and postgres database these are two different containers running in the same network and they are able to understand the host names bookmarker hyphen api bookmarker hyphen db because they are running in the same uh, docker network okay so that is the reason when we want to point to uh, postgres database from api while running inside uh, docker instead of using localhost 15432 we are using bookmarker hyphen db colon 5432 so here so this is how communication happens between two docker containers running inside the same docker network okay so this is clear uh, we are clear on how 
to Docker containers communicate with each other and how we should be able to access from our host to one of these uh, Docker container when we map the port uh, container port to host port. But the interesting part is how the same thing works a little bit differently when it comes to the UI application. Let's assume we are using plain React JS application, okay, uh, not Next.js or any other server side technology. Let's assume we are using plain uh, React JS application. Then when we build the application and run the uh, application as a container, just like uh, how we are running our API, we may also be able to run our uh, UI also as a container, right? And assume this is running on port 3000 and in the similar way, we mapped it to our host 13000, okay? So now we should be able to access this application using localhost 13000. Cool. We will be able to access it and we can see the UI as well. But the interesting part is from our UI, we might be making a call to our API, right? So just like the way it is, uh, the, our API is talking to Postgres, we might think if we give the API URL as bookmarker API colon 8080, it might work. But how it happens is when you access this localhost 1300, you are going to get all the JavaScript, HTML, CSS bundles onto your client side. And the request will go from your host machine, not from this Docker container to this API container. No, your uh, UI code will be downloaded onto your local host browser. And the API call will go from your host machine into this container. So then from your host machine, it is going to make API call as bookmarker hyphen API colon 8080. And we don't have such host uh, defined anywhere and it, will, it won't be able to identify where is the server because this is, this is not something that is running on this actual uh, host name, right? So this is the trickiest part. So, Basically, in uh, React applications, uh, while using Docker Compose, you need to map to this port, uh, API URL, base API URL, you need to give it to this one. So here, your API is running on inside port, uh, inside container 8080 port, and it is mapped to localhost uh, 18080, right? So when configuring API base URL, you should be giving localhost 18080 as the base API URL, not bookmarker hyphen API 8080. So what happens when you access this local host uh, 1300? It is going to download this bundle and then while making API calls, instead of making direct call to the container, it is going to make an API call to this um, map port onto the host localhost 8080 and it is going to forward the same request to this container okay so this is the uh, a simple tricky part while uh, dealing with the front end uh, container applications on top of it next.js has one more complication it performs both server side rendering and also client side rendering what i mean by server side rendering and client side rendering uh, let us see our application is running right now and if we open uh, DevTools console and go to this network tab and uh, press our log and only see XSR uh, Ajax request. Okay, so here I am seeing I don't see any API call to fetch these uh, bookmarks because this page, index page, is a server-side generated page, which means our Next.js application, when we, when we make this request, it is going to be processed on the server-side itself, on the node process, and then calculate entire uh, response content, and then this entire HTML will be sent back to the client. So this is a server-side uh, generation. This is how it works. But again, if you go to this add bookmark, this is not a server side, uh, this form is a server side generated page, but when we fill the form and let's say my quarkus, and then 
when you submit it this call is going to be made from your host okay and it is a client side call making an api call request to the server okay this is not a server side this is a client side uh, call so which means if you have to uh, again going back to this uh, diagram from here now you don't have a single base api uh, url right because if you try to uh, use the same base, uh, base api url when we access the bookmarks list page it needs to talk to uh, api but here it is not going to make api call from host machine but here so here uh, the server side generated generated uh, content it is going to talk to this api from uh, docker container itself so if you give base api url as localhost 18080 it cannot resolve that process from here to here right it doesn't it doesn't see localhost 18080 as the base uh, api running here for server side generated pages we need to give uh, api base url as bookmarker hyphen api equal on 8080 and for this add bookmark page right here you need to submit but for this page it is going to make api call from our host machine to the api so in this case here we the base api url should be localhost 18080 so how do we accommodate this uh, these two variations basically for all the server side generated content the base api url would should be bookmarker hyphen api colon 8080 and for all the pages where we are communicating through client side uh, generation the base api url should be localhost 18080 but this problem happens only during this uh, local development using docker compose only because in the production you will anyway uh, have a logical name uh, let's say bookmarker dot uh, dot com or whatever so the logical name would be same and it should respond to the same api call whether it is making call within the container or from the client side it doesn't matter but during our local development we don't have any of uh, such um, uh, host reserved for us so this is a bit of tricky part and there is a way to deal with this problem so in the next episode we are going to see how to handle this for next js application okay i hope you understand how this communication happens between the host and then docker containers and among the containers and what is the problem for uh, dockerized ui applications and specifically what is the challenge with our next js application to dockerize okay and in the next video we are going to tackle that challenge okay thanks for watching and stay tuned for the upcoming videos bye bye